Okay, guys, here we are on the Unit 1, Part 1, uh, 1A through 1E study guide, and this is the study guide answer key. Again, you don't need to watch the whole thing. If you've checked yours and you have some of them right, just get past those and get to the problems that you didn't uh, figure out correctly. So we're going to take 534 here and divide it by 8. 8 doesn't divide into 5. You can put a 0 placeholder up there if you want to. 8 divides into 53 6 times because 8 times 6 is 48. We'll subtract 48 from 53, and we get 5, and then we'll bring down our 4. And 8 divides into 54 again 6 times. 8 times 6 again is 48. Subtract, and we get 6. We can't have remainders, so we add a decimal point in and out of the house and add a 0. Bring down our 0. 8 divides into 67 times, because 7 times 8 is 56. We subtract, and we get 4. Still no zeros, or still no, uh, still a remainder. And we're going to bring down a zero, and then eight divides into 45 times exactly. And so we subtract this 40 and we're done. So our answer should be 66 and 75 hundredths for number eight. Number nine is 48,594 divided by 15. I don't put the comma in there because sometimes those get a little confusing. I like working with 15s because they're pretty easy to think about how many times 15s go into numbers. So we know that 15 will go into 48 uh, three times because 3 15s is 45. Subtract and we get 3 here. Bring down our 5. 15 will go into 35 twice because 2 15s is 30. Subtract and we get 5. Bring down our 9 here. 15 will go into 59. Um, if it were 60, it would be exactly 4 times, so we'll have to back down 1 to 3. And we know that 3 times 15 is 45. Subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down our 4. And 15 will go into 144. Well, that's almost 10 times because 144 is close to 1. 50. So we'll back that back a little bit and just say 9 times. And sure enough, when I multiply 9 times 15, I get 135. Do that subtraction. I can't take 5 away from 4. Borrow over here. Make that a 14. Get a 9. Can't have a remainder, so add a decimal point in and out of the house. Add a 0. Only in one place in the house. Bring it down. 15 divides into 96 times. And 6 times 15 is exactly 90. And so we're done with that one. All right, next problem, 456 divided by 6. 456 goes in the house, 6 goes out of the house. 6 doesn't divide into 4. 6 divides into 45 7 times, because 7 times 6 is 42. Do my subtraction, I get 3. Bring down my 6. 6 divides into 36 6 times. Do my subtraction, I get 0, so my answer is 76. we we'll go back here and fill in our answer up here. 320, uh, 3,239 and 6 tenths. I forgot to fill that one in. All right, and then 76 for number 11. We're going to take 475 and divide by 8. 8 doesn't divide into 4. We can mark that with a 0 if we want to. 8 divides into 47 5 times. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract, and we get 7. Bring down. We have 8 divided into 75. That goes in 9 times. 9 times 8 is 72. Subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. We don't want to have remainders, so we add a decimal point in and out of the house and a 0 in the house. Bring it down. 8 divides into 30 three times. 8 times 3 is 24, so we subtract 24 to the 6 here. Add another 0. 8 divides into 67 times. 8 times 7 is 56. Subtract, we get a 4 here. Add another 0. And 8 divides into 45 times. And we're done. So our answer is 59 and 375 thousandths. All right, two more on this problem, this page. We've got 265 divided by 2. 2 divides into 2 once, subtract, we get 0, bring down our 6, 2 divides into 6 3 times, subtract, 0, bring down our 5, 2 divides into 5 2 times, 
2 times 3, 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, you get 1. Add a decimal point in and out of the house. Bring the 0 down to make 10. 2 divides into 10 5 times. Subtract, get 0. So our answer here is 132 and 5 tenths. All right, last one on the page. 3,220 divided by 23. So 3,220 divided by 23. 23 will not divide into 0. You can mark that, or to 3. You can mark that with a 0 if you want to. It divides into 32 once. 1 times 23 is 23. Subtract. We have to borrow, make that a 12. 3 from 12 is 9. Bring down my 2. 23 divides into 92 exactly four times. Now, be careful here. We subtract, and we're tempted to think that we're done. But remember, we've got to bring this 0 down, and 23 divides into 0 zero times, because 0 times 23 is 0. So it's 140, not 14. Be careful on that one. All right, that's page 2 of your video notes. Tune into the next video for page 3.